Okay, picking up right where we left off last time. Uh, real quick, I want to uh, point out something I forgot to say in the last one. I've, I've said it in previous videos, but whenever you add new images or sounds and stuff, uh, in this case, we're going to want to package that into the blend file. It's going to make your blend file bigger, but basically it's zipping everything up into it so you don't have multiple files. Just a little bit easier to share it with other people. And it's with, you know, this is very important that we're able to share software. So we're going to go File, External Data, Package into Blend File. So that will save all our images into the blend file. Um, next, I'm going to grab on the z-axis and move this credit button up a little bit and uh, if we look at what we did last time we can click on this and it starts up our game credits here but we have no way to exit out of this we haven't set away so I'm gonna hit escape there and also we forgot to name our main menu main menu it just says scene up here so clicking up there we're gonna say main menu and then we're going to switch over to our game credits scene. Go back to the first frame here. And uh, similar to what we did before, I'm going to say import images plane. And we're going to find uh, a button, we'll call it back. And we'll make it shadeless, use alpha, pre-multiply, save, rotate X 90 to rotate it. And we'll scale it down. And we'll grab it and we'll put it down in the bottom right corner here. And we're on the first frame of the animation here. You can see that right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit I. And I'm going to set the scaling, a keyframe for that. Shift up arrow will bring us 10 frames up. We'll then scale the image a little. And we'll say I set keyframe and be sure to go back to the first frame. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to make it so you can click the button and when you hover over, over it, it does the animation we just created. So with it selected, also note that the name of this image is button back PNG 001. That's important. We're going to hover over our logic editor down here, hit control up arrow, and we are going to add two sensors just like before. They're both mouse sensors. One is going to be a mouse over and the other one's going to be a mouse or left click. And we're also going to add two controllers here. The first controller we're going to connect both our mouse over and our le mouse left button and the second one we're going to do just the mouse over. Over here we're going to add two actuators. We're going to add a scene and an action. The first one we're going to connect to both our over and left and that's going to be when we click the button we're going to set a scene and it's going to be our main menu we're going to go to. Uh, then we're going to connect the other one down here. So this is just when the mouse is over. We're going to say a flipper. And this is where it's important that we pick uh, button back PNG 001. Not the other one. Otherwise your scaling will get thrown off. I learned that the hard way. I'm going to set uh, that from 0 to frame 11. And now, if I, let's start at the beginning, we'll go to our main menu, P, and you can see we're going to hover over these buttons and they'll grow. And if I click the credit one, we now have a back button down here. So while we're watching the game credits, we're like, oh, this is a lot of names because of all the backers. Thank you, everyone, by the way. We're going to click back and go back to the main menu. Here we can once again go to credit. And we can go back. We can also go to level one. And we don't have a way to actually exit to the, to the main menu. We're actually going to change the exit button there to go to the main menu. Uh, but before we do that, let's space import images plane, add in this exit image. We're going to say shadeless use alpha pre multiply and rotate x90, scale it down. So it's about the size of the other buttons. It needs to be a little bit smaller. We are on our first frame here, I scaling, shift left arrow, scale it up. I to set another keyframe. Oh, wait, control Z. I accidentally hit shift right instead of shift up, which brought us to the last frame in this uh, uh, scene here. 
Uh, and here I'm, like I said, I'm going to scale it up now that I'm on frame 11. I scaling and be sure to go back to the first frame. And just like all of other buttons, what we've been doing, adding our sensors of mouse over and mouse left. And we're going to add two controllers connecting both to here, top one to here, and two actuator actions. We're going to say scene, click there, and action there. I kind of flip-flop those from where I put them over. As long as you connect them appropriately, it's all right. Uh, we're going to set the scene, and this one's going to be I forget what I'm working on here. <laughs> oh, I'm working on the exit button. Uh, that's not a scene, that's a game option. Game. And uh, we're going to say quit game. And here I am going to put a um, gotta make sure I pick the right one exit 001 and uh, two frame 11 Oops. so now we can hover over our buttons and I can click exit and it exits out of the game uh, and of course we want to be sure uh, we haven't added any new images but just to be sure we're going to pack into blend file and that is it for this tutorial I think this is the 45th tutorial I thank you for watching I hope you're enjoying these and we're getting really close to finishing um, we have our main level here I think next what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to create some extra levels and then show you how to uh, connect to them we're going to add a button here to uh, basically hit other levels from separate blend files is my hopes uh, just to make it somewhat modular so we're going to file save and then uh, I thank you for watching uh, please check out the links in the description for more information on this game and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial have a great day